All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and me. Um, sad news from the world of music. I'm a big fan of the band Ambrosia. And uh, one of my favorite albums of all time is their 1980 album entitled 180. And I think the album was named that way because the band had basically done a 180 from their more progressive roots, which a lot of fans of the band really enjoyed their progressive days. But keyboard player David Cutler Lewis has passed away. Uh, he was on the 180 album, first appeared on the album Life Beyond uh, LA, and then um, was also on another album called Rhode Island, which didn't do very well for the band. But uh, he played keyboards on that iconic 180 album on tracks like Biggest Part of Me, um, Living on My Own, Ready, Shape I'm In, and pretty much really every song. Um, he was a great keyboard player. According to David Pack, he helped take our music to a higher place at the perfect time. He also had a quirky sense of humor, which uh, blended perfectly with ours. Pack says he helped me decode chord changes. I was hearing at the drop of a hat or he helped find a riff or synth color almost telepathically. No one sounded like him. He created, he created a monster mini Moog hybrid guitar synth sound whereby he'd split the overdriven upper harmonic with a foot pedal and do amazing note bends that were simply stunning, kind of like having an extra guitarist uh, on keyboards. Uh, he goes on to say, I'll miss him so much. My deepest condolences to his family, friends, and fans. One thing about Ambrosia, when you hear their music, it instantly increases the production value of the radio station you're listening to. And that's in no small part because of what David Cutler Lewis did on keyboards. Yes, a big loss to the music industry an unheralded player, even Michael McDonald uh, said something here. He says, Dave Lewis was a talented musician who brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. Uh, he says, I traveled on tour with him for a few years while I was a member of the Doobie Brothers and he was a member of Ambrosia. Dave was a kind, thoughtful and funny guy and we've lost him way too soon. Um, David Cutler Lewis did win a Grammy Award with the instrumental new age band Shadow Facts, I believe in 1988 or 89 for best new age performance. Really a gifted keyboard player and um, very few people that had that kind of impact in the industry. So there you have it folks, sad news, but uh, there's music out there, there's homework that you can go listen to these songs if you're not familiar with David Cutler Lewis, Ambrosia, not a guilty pleasure band at all, a top-notch band. Um, not sure what happened to them on the album Rhode Island, but that was a big disappointment. Um, they could have continued on. I think they would have been a great band in the 80s if they had done so with a keyboard player like that and then the 1980s ahead of you. Uh, trends in the music business, they're hard to explain, but in any event, this guy was a total just you know, ringer of a, of a great keyboard player. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.